Hello, I am Speed Demon TS10, or again in a trains world, I am the original Speed Demon. And, as you can probably tell, my videos have been delayed again. I wanted to apologize for my videos being late, and this really hasn't been a good start off as far as the, to the 2018 year, and stuff has been coming up in life that had had me keep pushing back the recordings I wanted to get done and um I guess I got frustrated cuz I had some really cool ideal and plans and videos I wanted to make starting off with the uh, new Southern Railway 630 and um just Again, things in life were just kept coming up and didn't have much time to get done as I wanted to record videos. And um, last Saturday, I finally did have a good like whole afternoon, and I thought I'm gonna try to go ahead and make up all the six videos I was gonna make for the month of January that I had planned. And had problems trying to get just one video or the first video recorded till I guess I let the stress and strain get to me that I pretty much needed to relax and later on I was thinking on average if everything goes well if I run into no issues while recording or between setup for the video or setting things up for like the scenery and stuff and then the actual recording and then the pacing and editing if everything goes well usually on average it takes me three to four hours to make a video and I was just multiplying that factor by six and if it was at the very least three hours I would have to have 18 hours in one day to record all the videos and I'm like what was I thinking so I guess I just felt really bad that I wasn't getting the videos as out as I wanted to and trying to get to the uh, trying to get to the routine where I can make at least one new video one new video every week or maybe two and I guess I kinda of felt like I was kinda of like letting all my subscribers and viewers and patreons down that I wasn't getting anything out there so so instead of, of worrying about making up for what I was going to get done for the whole month of January I am just going to pretty much start fresh for the new year and I'm, and I got one video recorded with the um, Southern 630. So I'm gonna start from there and then pretty much start fresh. And, um, and I'm also gonna do try to do the Ace 3000 project that I said I was going to do for February, pretty much for February, because I got I had um some double header runs planned for um January but um well like I said I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start fresh and then go from there so the um the 630 video should be out if this video you see is out by Thursday it should be out the following day Friday or if it'll be out Friday it will then be out Saturday or uh, so forth, but um, so I expect the um, the 6:30 video to come out the following day after this video gets released. So again, thank you um for for being patient, and I do apologize for the delays in the videos, and I hope to get to my my uh, routine or get to the, get the routine down. So, at this point, I'd like to um, answer some 
some of the questions that were left on my previous trains videos and um uh forgive me I don't remember who asked what cuz I was trying to get all the questions down but um <clears throat> all right let's see uh there's one question um it was asked if um if I will ever do a run with the Erie and Sasaquan I still need to try to pronounce that railroad's name but um I did do a run with the Erie version of the 210 it was um the first video recorded and put together with the new video editor program that was um like an early morning freight run but I could probably maybe do a maybe a daylight run with the um other version of the 210 so that can be something <clears throat> let's see um another question um there was a question of whether if I will do the um do a video of the um the CB and Q 484 and I do plan to make a video of that engine on two things. One, I don't know if that engine is part of the first and second year content that is awaiting updates. And if it does have its updates, then the second thing I'm going to have to wait on is enough money to buy it. Because money is not great for me right now. In fact, I'm not sure if I'm even going to be able to afford the new um, Pennsylvania 210 when it comes out, but I'll have to see what I can do because money's extremely tight on me. But sooner or later, I do plan to get the, um, the CB and Q484. So, um... <clears throat> Let's see, there was another question, um, the question asked if I could do my own railroad series, that if you, he could use, be the, um, the voice of the, uh, blah, the, blah, 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 blah. need to learn to talk right. Okay, so there was a question. Uh, if I do, if I make my own railroad series, if that person could do the voice of the Nickel Plate Road 765 and a railroad series? Do you mean um something like um uh, oh dang how how do I pronounce that YouTube channel name uh sand is it San Juan? San San Juan? San Juan? Ah. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but is it like San Juan? Juan trains? Or if it's the same, um, pronounced the same way as in the videos, San Juan branch line. Um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that, that YouTube channel right, but, um, I'll leave a link in the description down below to the channel I'm talking about, and, um, also, I think, um, ALW Productions is starting their own railroad series, so, I'll leave a link to that YouTube channel too, and, for them, for both of them to be able to check out, but um, something like that, I, I just have no time for. I mean, <clears throat> I'm having a hard time now, just trying to get back to my routine of a new video each week. So I really don't have the time to do something like those, like those channels are doing. <clears throat> but I, I would recommend go ahead and um check those two channels out. See. 
what you can do there. And uh, let's see, there was a, a couple comments I wanted to um, talk about. Um, like the one comment about on the Polo Express video about um, like there's no speed limits on the Polo Express. At least not with Speed Demon TS-10. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> nope, there's no speed limits with me behind the throttle. <laughs> And then there was a couple of comments on the um the tour run. Uh there was a comment about that tour guide voice. Yeah. Like I said, I don't think I'm gonna make a good tour guide. I mean I try to think of like think of something like importance or something about the scenery as going along and my mind just kept drawing a blank. I'm like, uh, trees? Rock? Sign? <laughs> uh, like I said, me, a tour guide, probably not the best, but I definitely know how to run a locomotive. And then there was another comment, um, said I glad it enjoyed the route, and said good job on the video, and, um, well, thank you, and, um, I think this user had JR in the, um, in the username, um, are you, um, are you part of the Jointed Rail team, or were you the guy that built that route for Jointed Rail? Or I'm from Jointed Rail? Because, well, like I said, the route is really beautiful. I mean, the only downside I can see is it's not long enough for me to go wide open throttle, but then again, it's, it's an excellent route. I do enjoy it. I mean, it's very, it's a very nice scenic run, and thinking, yeah, I still enjoyed it. So, oh, um, a couple other things I want to um, talk about. Um, another series, or another thing I also want to try to get started is, um, it's like a speed test where, um. It's where I can um, take each locomotive that KNL Trains has made and find out exactly how fast can I get them to go because about 9 out of 10 locomotives from KNL Trains on solo runs, I can easily get them to go over 100 miles an hour. And I always wondered, how fast can I get them to go and which one of them would be the fastest? And I was thinking about this event, and I'm thinking, or it's still in development, but I was thinking about instead of, I was thinking about instead of recording this new series, what if I maybe could try to do a live stream during the speed tests, I mean, I thought maybe something like this, doing like a live stream every month to to find out the the highest speed on each KNL trains locomotive, and gives me an opportunity to interact with the my viewers and subscribers and patrons. And I thought it'd be a really cool ideal, and I'm not sure. Well, first I gotta find out if I can either live stream on YouTube or Twitch. Maybe one of the one of those two, but I gotta check to see if my current system or my current setup can even handle a live stream. Cause if not, then I'll probably have to go back to, or I'll probably have to just stay back on recording. But a live stream is something I I really would like to do. Maybe like once a month to interact with y'all. <coughs> but um, if you go to, there'll be. Ah. But um, you can go to my Patreon page. I'm going to have a poll there for about a couple weeks to. Find out what would y'all be interested in this um, 
speed test idea. If I should try to live stream on YouTube or live stream on Twitch or if recording would be just fine um, go to my Patreon page and cast your vote and please note you don't have to be a Patreon to vote but if you like to go there and donate to help keep these videos going I'll be I'd be grateful of your generous donation I mean even if it's just a dollar a month so far on my patreon page I have one patreon who is donating ten dollars a month on my videos and is ten dollars a month much no but it helps it helps me get ten dollars closer to my goal and again I am very grateful of his generous donation and can't thank him enough <coughs> so so all the links will be in the description down below and um starting fresh and going to um, hopefully get another video out within another week of this um video in the 6:30 so Again, thank you so much for your patience, and um, I will talk to you again in the next one.